Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on the second day, technically, of the Entei event research, but it's going to be our first research of the Entei event. And we are going to start off very strong with 23,868 sneaky snacking. Very nice. A lot. A lot of sneaky snacking put in by that hybrid Dragonair of ours. And funny enough, the exact same amount from Charizard and Typhlosion. That's kind of interesting. That's very interesting. Well, no, I guess it does make sense. It's just weird that their frequency lined up to the point where they have the exact same. But it does make sense. They are both getting two berries at a time. So that makes sense. We are Master 2, which means we're going to have a Master 1 research. I tried to get to Master 2 last night, but I would have had to stay up like another 45 minutes or an hour just to get the berries needed to get to Master 2. We were like 2,000 strength off. But it just wasn't happening, and I was tired, so I just went to bed. Because I didn't want to uh, mess up and get a uh, sub-100 sleep score today, given that it's our first research. But speaking of 100, we got 100 sleep points, which puts us at 5,124. And for our daily lottery, uh, also, the Good Sleep Day bundle is now available for those who are interested. But for our daily lottery, we're going to get a biscuit. No, we're going to get 20 diamonds instead. That's all right, too. I will take diamonds. But I am just ready to jump into the sleep research. I know one thing that's going to show up. You probably know one thing that's going to show up, too, because it's the whole reason we're here. But we are going to get a full eight spawns. So I'm curious what all we're going to find. Hopefully we're going to find a Vulpix or something. I'm going to be real sad if we find a berry finding Cyndaquil. Um, definitely going to be a slumbering sleep. 9% dozing, 35% snoozing, and 56% slumbering. Interesting. Okay. Definitely slumbering. It is pseudo balanced, so it doesn't really matter, but it will skew towards more slumbering sleep type Pokemon. Um, so we'll just have to see how that goes. We're going to get 21.8 million drowsy power. Full eight spawns, plus we have the extra one from the good camp ticket, plus the other one that is going to show up. Um, so I think we have a, actually 10 total spawns, I believe. There's a top belly Pichu. Yes, 10 spawns in total. So a top belly Pichu game is lagging real slow today. Well, I guess that's why. <laughs> Because it just ran through that super fast. I'm pretty sure the game is going to crash. Uh, maybe. Hold on. Let's give it a second. Okay. It seems to be running smooth. Seems to be. Well, let's see how it goes. So we got a Magneton, a Houndour, a Shuppet, a Squirtle, a Bulbasaur, a Pseudo Wudo, an Iglybuff, a Slowpoke, and a Pichu. Um, so that's nine that we had already. But interestingly enough, no doubles so that's good that does give us a variety of choices the question is who's going to be hungry and also where is this last one that uh i know we're gonna find where are you there you are you beautiful thing you there we go the reason we're all here energy storing sleep 32 mains for finding it. So that's good because we had to use 80 to get the incense. So 32 is nice to get back. This Pokemon embodies the passion of magma. Flames apparently leak a little from Entei's mouth sometimes, even while it sleeps. After it is rested, it sweeps once more across the land, spewing waves of fire like an erupting volcano. Very nice. Very nice. No atop belly sleep, though. I still think that'd be funny to see the legendaries just sleeping on top of Snorlax's belly. It would be funny to me. I kind of wish they would do it, but not surprised. So Sudowoodo, Bulbasaur, Entei's hungry. I don't know that I wanted that to happen. Magneton, also hungry. We got four hungry Pokemon. Uh, okay, so the game is just chugging along for me today uh that's not good i didn't want this Entei to be hungry that is actually kind of a bad thing um 
Yeah, I'm just gonna use my master biscuit, just like planned. It sucks that it was hungry this time. So... What is going on? Um... There we go. Thought I clicked the button already. I do like the confirmation though. Are you sure you want to use a master biscuit? Also, I'm noticing there's no game audio and I'm not sure why. The game audio was working before. Interesting. Well, not sure why there's no game audio, but maybe that fixed it. I won't know. Doesn't seem like it. I don't know. I guess we're just playing without audio today. Um, anyway, so we do have a bonus biscuit that we want to use. Honestly, I'm thinking Bulbasaur is the better call. We don't need... We have a pretty decent pseudo Wudu, I believe. We do need a better Bulbasaur still. And we might as well while it's hungry. Yeah. Yep, did not fix the game audio. Oh well, no game audio today for whatever reason. Um, cool. Uh, I don't... I kind of want to feed that Hound Hour, to be honest with you. Just a little bit part of me wants to, but I also want to feed the Shuppet. Mm. Um, no, I'm going to hold off. I'm gonna hold off. They're not something that we desperately need. We'll wait. And of course, we're gonna send out the Entei photo, give people some Entei candy. We got 80 mains today, right up here in the corner. You can see how many you got for the sleep research. 80 in total is pretty good, considering we spent 80 to get that, that uh, incense. So that's good, we got it all back. And we should get a decent amount. Yeah, 2,962 research XP with 12,457 12, dream shards. That is very good. I wish I could have used a luck incense on it, on this research, but I used the Entei incense and the friend incense just to get an extra hungry. Level 26 and docile. All right. I have not yet found anywhere online that someone has posted Inte, the first Inte stats and abilities. So we're gonna we're gonna learn together. You probably have already seen it by the time this video comes out, but if you haven't, we're gonna figure it out together. So we got oil, tomato, and tomato. Mushrooms are an option. Interesting that it's oil, tomato, and mushrooms for Inte, huh? I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there's any synergy there, which ultimately it doesn't really matter because it's a skill specialist. We're not putting Entei on the team for the ingredients, but it will be nice to get these ingredients, especially oil and tomatoes mixed in with the fire types because most fire types, I think, do we have a fire type that gets oil? I feel like we do, but I can't think of who it is off the top of my head. So maybe I'm just, just making that up, but I'm pretty sure we don't have a fire type with tomatoes. So this might be good to have a little mix there. Um, so we got oil, tomato, and tomato on this Entei. Helper boost fire, of course, and it's already level two, which means we know what we're getting at level 10 or 25. Um, sleep XP bonus. It's actually not bad. Sleep XP bonus, skill level up S, uh, inventory up L. Very good. Helping speed S. This one, skill trigger S at level 100 is the only thing I really don't like about this. Um, and I forgot to look at the nature. I think it was docile. Yeah, docile. So that's neutral. This one is actually not terrible. And I don't, I don't remember the first Rikos sub skills, but this doesn't feel like the same. But then again, the way this calculation is going, maybe it is the same. Maybe it is. Oh, now we're getting a look at some of these new features they've added to the calculator, too. So uh, these are premium features. Uh, specifically, this probability one is premium. I'm not sure about that. I think they are I think they just changed the way that this looks. I don't think this is actually a premium feature. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Um, but I think the percentage is just displayed in a different way than it was before. But the probability is definitely a premium feature. I did read the uh, the news about that from Raynon. So this is a, a premium feature. The probability is telling you the likelihood of you catching an in or not a not necessarily an Inte. In this instance, it is an Inte, but it's telling you the probability of catching a better version of the Pokemon that you're currently grading. Um, so essentially what this is saying is that 28% of any future Entei's will be better than this one at level one. Um, the lower the number is, the better, which is funny, because this is saying uh, 9.5. Only 9.5% of future Entei's will be better than this one at level 25. So probability is very low, uh, even on some of these later levels. But the trick is to not look at only one number and try to take them all into account, and you want all of them to be very low numbers. Uh, but I wouldn't use this as your sole determining factor for whether you keep or invest in an Entei. Again, you always wanna take everything into account when grading your Pokemon, not just individual levels, because you need to see how they're gonna grow and benefit your team over time. Um, but this Entei, PR45, actually turned out if i remember correctly just slightly better than raiko i want to say raiko was closer to 40 maybe 41 or 42 somewhere around there uh, but this is still around what we expected for the first entei so this is why i advise using a master biscuit getting that first entei out of the way if you are wanting to hunt an another one if this entei is fine for you and you're willing to drop a couple of uh sub skill seeds because that's all it's gonna take is three. Yeah, three sub skill seeds would actually make this intake pretty good, in my opinion, once you get to level 100. Let's go ahead and just hit this max button here. It automatically invests those three sub skill seeds. And let's rerun this calculation. And I think it's gonna be significantly higher. It is very good to get a skill level up on a skill specialist that does not evolve. So that's very nice that they gave that to us. Also, has skill level up always been a blue subskill? Why do I feel like that was a white subskill before? It definitely wasn't. There were only four. The skill trigger. I think that's what it is. I think I mixed it up with skill trigger. But yeah, skill level up is always good to get on a skill specialist that does not evolve. So that's pretty good. They actually give you a pretty decent Entei, and if you have a decent amount of subskill seeds and you want to invest, it could be good. I'm trying, I'm just hoping the calculation would run a little faster, but it seems like everything is running slow today. Maybe it's just a me thing, but I will definitely be hunting a better Entei because I do not have the subskill seeds to invest in it. So I'm hoping that we can find a better one. Um, apparently the odds are very low. Granted, this is with subskill seeds, but these percentile ratings are not looking very good for Entei. Um, especially when you look at these. The relative strength to me is actually really important because this tells you how much better or worse it is than just a neutral Entei in terms of its actual output. So all the way up until level 30, it's the same as a neutral Entei, the same. Granted, it does, this doesn't take into account the skill level up. So that's one thing you've got to worry about. I wish that the skill count did kind of take skill level up into consideration a bit more, but unfortunately it doesn't. And actually this is still only a PR 51, even with three sub skill seeds. So maybe, maybe that's not worth the investment to me. No, it's not worth the investment, but maybe it is to you. Maybe, maybe you're happy with it. And if so, you only want to catch this one Entei and you don't want to catch any more, don't use a Master Biscuit on it. Just feed it as you see it uh, over the course of the next two weeks. But if you do want to hunt a better one, highly recommend using a Master Biscuit if you've got one. Get it out of the way and start hunting a better one. But now that we have taken a look at this first Entei and we know what we're dealing with, we can go ahead and throw this in the box. Level 26. Uh, probably going to put it on the team... 
maybe I don't know I don't know I keep going back and forth on whether we are or not uh, I think it depends on what happens with Flareon after we make breakfast so let's go ahead and get to the breakfast oh no I forgot we have a Bulbasaur too I completely forgot we caught a Bulbasaur <laughs> level 15 and bashful uh, let's see we've got all honey that's good that's a good thing all honey inventory up s inventory up m Ugh, that's not good berry finding s another hybrid bulbasaur which we already have a hybrid venusaur so research xp bonus this is unfortunately not going to be what i need this is not what i'm looking for um yeah this is not what i'm looking for not even a little bit it's already way too low it's the ingredient spread I want, but not. <laughs> wow, 96, 97% of uh, Bulbasaur's that I find are gonna be better than this one at level 30. Wow, wow. Yeah, we're gonna move on. I can already tell we don't want this Bulbasaur. I'll let it continue the calculation in the background. It's gonna take it a minute because everything's running slow. I'm going to send that one to the professor. I can already tell that's not going to be what I need. All right, another 2084 sneaky snacking. And let's see, do we have any new news? We do not, but we do have some community reports. About 46 of them. Hey, nice. With 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That doubled up. Very nice. All right. Well, very good. Very, very good. No level ups today. But that's all right. And now it is time to collect our ingredients and stuff. Ooh, skill trigger to start off with. Very nice. The Dragonairs actually triggered their uh, main skill more than I expected yesterday. I think one of them had two skill triggers and the other had three yesterday. And they're only supposed to get about one each. The skill triggers have definitely been paying off on the fire types, though. Funny enough, Flareon supposed to get five a day and also has a 50% increased chance. I think I only got four yesterday. So that was just a bad RNG day for Flareon. But the reason Flareon is still on the team, a couple of people were mentioning that with the extra ingredients that are coming in from the fire types, they have been using a bunch of ingredients and that I should keep Flareon on the team for a minute and see if maybe the extra pot space that Flareon gives us on top of the good camp ticket would be necessary just to uh, keep from having a full inventory bag. So we're going to leave him on the team for now. I want to see how it goes with breakfast and go from there. Uh, yeah, 152 pot space. This is uh, where I'm running into some issues. 152 pot space. I actually don't think I have the ingredient production to keep up with the extra pot space from Flareon. I've put every bit of excess ingredients in here and we still need to put more. Um, so what I actually have been doing, funny enough, is uh, bending a little bit of the... Uh, sausage and herbs and this may come back to bite me later on in the week uh, but I've been using that um, I was I threw some extra corn in there yesterday but I don't think I want to do that now but let's just go ahead and fill it out with sausage and herbs and let's get this going and hopefully we can get an extra tasty that would be nice Mmm, no extra tasty. That's all right. That is all right. And for, still got 55,030 without an extra tasty. That extra pot space is uh, making a huge difference. A huge difference. And that should put us at Master 4. Almost Master 5. We are cruising through these ranks to this week. It's only Tuesday. Only Tuesday.
Was that only Master 3? No. Okay. What are we doing? What is this? Master 5? Oh, we did make Master 5. Wow. Okay. We're going through the ranks so quickly, the game doesn't know how to keep up. And we've still got 20 berries. We may hit Master 6 by for that. Um, cool. All right, let's see how we're doing. All right, everybody's looking pretty good. The team is looking fine. Again, I'm not really sure what to do about Flareon. We have a decent amount of ingredients, but not, not quite what I was hoping to have. Well, we do have a lot of excess, honestly. And we only needed enough excess of the ginger and corn for an extra three meals. We have more than that now. Um. Hmm. Yeah, mm, this is a tough call. Let's let's pull up production comparison for a moment. Let's check this out. I want to compare the skill trigger rates. Between oh, too far. I want to compare the skill trigger rates between these two. 1.85 is actually a lot higher than I expected. That's way higher. It's way higher than Raiko, the the good one that we have. Um. Hmm. Yeah, 1.85, about 1.85 skill triggers from Intei per day. That's quite a lot. <clears throat> so. Huh. We should get 5.58 per day from Flareon. Um, honestly? Huh. You know what? I think I am. I think I am going to swap Flareon out for, for a bit. Because I don't want to burn through our ingredients too quickly. And I can swap Entei in and use Entei's ability to bring in some more ingredients. So we may alternate each day, swap Flareon and Entei in and out. Entei to bring in a bunch of ingredients, Flareon to let us use all the extra ingredients we're burning through. We'll see how that goes. Because Entei will definitely help. We already have 41 candies, very nice. Also, one thing I forgot to check was, uh, actually, no. We didn't get any mains from our community reports that I noticed, because last time it brought up the menu showing how many mains we got, and I don't think we got any unless they changed the way it displayed. That's a problem. Anyway, before I get sidetracked... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to swap Intei and Flareon back and forth and kind of see how it goes. We may end up going back to just using Flareon, but I think Entei's ability is gonna help quite a bit. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, it looks like it did just not show me how many mains we got, but it looks like we got 31, because I only had, I had zero. Um, I think I had zero when I went to bed last night because I bought the Entei incense and I had exactly 80, I think, or I, maybe I had five. Um, so it looks like we got about 26 or 31 Entei mains from the community reports, but either I just pressed OK and back too quickly or it didn't show up. Not sure which, but we did get some. So that's good. That's a lot better than I thought where we didn't get any. So <laughs> that's a good thing. The next thing on the agenda for the shop is to buy the incense after we have enough biscuits to take it into home currently we only have the one free biscuit that we got yesterday if you haven't claimed that free biscuit yet it's in your gifts make sure you go do that um 
I want to have at least three Entei Biscuits before we use another incense. Um, and I would like to buy the main skill seed and the Firestone along the way, but we do have some time for that. I'd rather get the Entei out of the way and not have to worry about it. So that's going to be the plan. We should get some more mains here, though. Or no. No, we do not, because... Uh, None of this has been complete. There's only one of these I could have completed today, and I did not give out enough biscuits for that. So, never mind. We're going to claim these rewards. Get to Ultra 4 for a small dream cluster. Master 3 for a Chikorita incense. And give Snorlax 374 of its favorite berries, which we knew that was going to happen, for three small handy candies. Cool. Yeah, so we're not going to get any more mains today. So unfortunately, we're not going to get a uh, another Entei spawn. It still says Master 4 in the top left. The game is being all kinds of wacky today. <laughs> I'm not sure what is happening. So anyway, yeah, that is what we're looking at. Um, things are going very well. And the one last thing I want to do before we wrap this up. Yeah, we're not Master 5, but it definitely told us Master 5. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, the last thing I want to do, I want to go to team analysis and change this up and get an updated expectation of what we're looking at for our final goal. 319,795 is what we're currently at. Looks like we've gone up a rank. Currently, Master 16 is the projection. If we can continue to climb these ranks at this rate, where we're getting an extra rank per day, which I doubt is going to happen because uh, there's a huge jump in ranks towards the end, uh, or in the amount of strength required for the ranks towards the end. So I doubt that's going to happen, but 1.5 million is what we're expected currently, and that puts us at Master 16, which means, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, It'll be a wild week and we're definitely going to need these extra ingredients so i definitely think Entei was the right call can we get a skill trigger now nope we just got one berry that's all right that berry is going to help along the way how much do we get 167 from Entei berries cool good to know but team is performing well things are looking good it's not quite accurate because i don't have flareon on the team actually let's uh you know what let's let's see what happens let's put Entei on the team see if that really changes it Went too far. There we go. Uh, no, still Master 16. Actually higher, 1.7 million. Uh, which is funny. 1.695 million up from 1.5 million, and we're still only Master 16. So yeah, we got a long way to go. Master 16 is looking more likely if we get an extra tasty. Master 17 would probably be the case, but it just depends on how these meals go throughout the week. We're just going to have to kind of play it out and see what happens, but... Yeah, things are going very well. The first Entei, it's not bad. It's definitely usable, um, but I will be hunting for a better one. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be hunting for a better one or if you're going to be happy with this one and you're just going to invest in it or if you're not going to invest in it. That's actually going to be uh, pretty interesting to hear from you guys what your perspective on this first Entei is. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching the video. You all have a wonderful day. And until next time, later, dudes.